guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here be sure to subscribe my name is Gianna and I post weekly today I have created for you guys this really really pretty rocker vibe it could also be like a music festival kind of inspired look whatever however you want to take it I used L'Oreal's infallible eyeshadow on my eyes that's the star of the show and I did Chill Zone Liquid Lip from Smashbox. I love this combination together. I think it is so, so pretty. I step out of my comfort zone again. Show you guys that it's okay to be different, you know. We all don't have to do the same bronzy, peachy, um, nude lip that everybody else does. So I really hope that you guys decide to play with some color at home. Some different kind of lip colors. I think it's super fun. Makeup washes away at the end of the day. So if you hate it, take it off, try again. Practice makes perfect. I put together a little rocker outfit for you guys. Thinking either like space buns will look super, super cute with this look, or a top knot, whatever you guys want to do. However, your hair is short, long, I think it would look really cute, curled, or braids, you know, like cornrows, or I think two French braids would look really cute with this look. So just have fun with it. Be creative, be yourself. Be different. If you guys want to see this hair and outfit, just stay tuned and I'll hey see guys, you guys in a minute. So I've already started with my foundation and cream contouring done and I'm just going to move on to my eyes so I can clean up with my concealer when I'm done because I'm doing like a pretty bold eye look if you guys follow me on Instagram. I will have the link in the description below. I did a really pretty pop of blue eye look so I'm going to recreate it today. I figured you guys probably didn't need to see my foundation or cream contour. So starting off, I'm going to take my Modern Renaissance and I'm only going to take this warm taupe shade out of this palette. So if you have a shade similar to this like taupe, that will be all good. And I'm just going to put this all over my lid and into the crease. I'm going to switch in between my Morphe M535 and my BH Cosmetics V5 brush and just keep blending this. Okay, so the transition shade is finished. I got these new eyeshadows from Carity Professionals, Carity.com. I heard these, I heard about these through Nikki Tutorials on YouTube, and I really, really like these. These are have great pigmentation, I will show you. They're so, so great, so I'm going to be using this shade. And I'm just going to deepen up the crease. I'm not taking this on the lid, I'm just taking this into the crease. And since we're using really dark colors in this look, you really want to make sure that every time you go in with a new eyeshadow, it's really blended out before you move on to your next shade. I'm going to move on to, this is a Velvet Mr. Brownstone from the same Carity. Do you see how it's a little bit more like muted, more gray tone? I'm gonna take tone. this on my MAC 217 and I'm gonna start by placing this on my outer V and my inner. I'm gonna kind of do like a halo with the blue. With this darker shade, I like to do a little bit, blend it, do a little bit, blend it. So that's how the one eye is looking. I'm really happy with it. So I'm just going to do it with the other, the other eye and I'll be right back. So now that that's finished, I'm going to go in with Warm Taupe from the Modern Renaissance and this muzzle that we used before and just kind of blend everything out. I'm just going to finish my concealer and, we're, and then we're going to come back to the eyes. So for concealer today, I'm going to be mixing my Maybelline Fit Me, which is in Fair, with my Urban Decay Light Neutral.
so the eyes are cleaned up. It's a little sharp right now, but I'm gonna fix that. Um, I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. back in with my MAC 247 and I'm just going to soften up these edges that I've created. I'm not adding any excess product or anything, I'm just blending. I'm going to just go really quickly in with my TARDIS Pro Glow and I'm going to take the shade Sculpt, which I used to contour my face, and I'm just going to add some warmth into this eye look. Now moving on to the start of the show, which is this blue eyeshadow from L'Oreal Infallible. This is Endless Sea. So I, I thought that all these three shades really, really, really went well together. So that's how I came up with this look. Take my ring finger or any finger and put this on the center of my lid. fallout that's why I wanted to do my concealer and set everything before I moved on to this shade. Taking my MAC 217 and my Morphe 353. You can go back in with brownstone. Just deepen this up if you have to. I'm liking how this is looking. I'm just gonna add a little bit more blue to the center. And then we're gonna move on to our lower lash. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in with that blue shade and smudge this all over. I'm gonna go in a little bit with Mr. Brownstone and just kind of smoke this out a little bit. I'm just going to put on some mascara, put on some false lashes, and I will be right. So the eyes are finished. This is how they are looking. Them, so I'm just going to move on and finish my face. For contouring, I'm going to use the TARDIS Pro Glow, and I'm going to take the shade Sculpt at the bottom. On top, using Butter Bronzer. For blush, I'm going to use my Butter Blush in the shade Plum Rose, just keeping it really neutral since my eyes are a lot. For my highlight, I'm going to use the Pro Tardis Pro Glow and I'm going to use the shade Lit. I just got done highlighting and I also went in with the shade Tempura from the Modern Renaissance palette and I just cleaned up my brow bone a little bit. For lips today, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Chill Zone Liquid Lip. If this is like crazy with the bold eyes and the bold lips, you guys could always do like a dark nude, a burgundy, a light nude, a gloss, like whatever you guys are. I'm just going to line my lips with Stark Naked Lip Liner from Urban Decay. I love this look so much. Um, you know what I also think would be a really, really fun idea? If you took the blue eyeshadow and put it all over your lips, I think that would give it like a really fun metallic vibe. So if you guys are into that, that would be super, super to put cute. like together a rocker like outfit for you guys. But if you guys wanna see that outfit, then just so You guys can watching. see like all of my house right now. Um, but I just really wanted to show you guys this simple outfit that I put together. This top from Shein, I featured it in one of my other videos. It's just all ripped up. I have it tucked in to high-waisted jeans from American Eagle, and I have these boots from Public Desire. So for 
first things first, you can always, always spice something up with a flannel around the waist. I think this is so cute. A flannel is one of my favorite things to add to a look if I kind of just want to throw in an accessory or something. I have this leather jacket from Kohl's. So you can either keep the flannel on and style it as such, which I would actually probably wear this, wear it just like this. I really love the flannel around the waist. You can take it off and just have the cropped um, leather jacket. I think this is so fun. With this eye makeup and this lip, it makes you feel really hard and Finally, bad. I have this other leather jacket, and I think this is also from this is also from Kohl's. This one's just like a little bit more fitted. It doesn't have a hood on the back, so I really I hope that you guys loved this video. Thank you so much for watching. I had a great time filming this, and I will see you guys in my next video.